What's good YouTube? Your boy DB is back with another video. Today we're talking the Splinterlands reward cards because yesterday we, we dropped a video um, where I mentioned the new reward cards were out and I didn't know where I could see them. One of my viewers reached out and said they're on the Discord server so I, I probably should have looked there first um, but doesn't matter, we can we can knock out a second video, can we? A little bit more content for the Splinterlands community. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one because uh, I, I have had a brief like look, just kind of seeing what the abilities were and things because I don't know a lot of abilities off by heart, I'll admit. Um, so uh, I, I've got splinter cards up on the side and we're going to flick through and try and theory craft a little bit. That's what I was known for in, in all the other strategy games I've played prior to getting into GameFi. Uh, so yes, yeah, have a look. Before we get to that, be sure to check out my Patreon. By becoming an early member of my Patreon for just £4 a month, you'll gain access to a special area of my Discord where you can pick my brain, see the moves I'm making or planning to in both crypto and play to earn gaming, even before I cover it in videos. This is along with many other perks and future planned perks tied to my own projects. Right, let's delve into the videos. Do the old switcheroo over to the Discord server. Um, I've shortened the camera so we can actually see the cards because my camera was too big before. Uh, let me just get splinter cards loaded up so we can have a flick through. Got my coffee ready. Um, and let's have a bushes as they say over here in the UK. Right, we got a common fire card. Um, right, so obviously novice are gonna be playing here at level one. Uh, bronze are gonna be playing up to level two. Silver, where I play, will be playing up to level four um so i kind of the, the early game the majority of the game is most of my affiliates are going to be somewhere within this bracket i suspect so let's have a bit of a look shout out to all of my affiliates by the way if you do get into the game check out my affiliate link below um and i offer free coaching and i'll delegate some cards for you to really kind of get a taster of things obviously this is what i've been doing uh, for all of my affiliates and some of them have turned to really good players in fact probably better than me <laughs> anyway back to the card we've got blood maker here uh everybody knows i'm a huge fan of fire i think it's probably the best splinter in the early part of the game up to silver um i find it falls off a little bit in in gold however but um yeah as i said majority players were playing somewhere between uh, bronze and silver anyway so initially at a novice card it looks all right looks a little bit like scavo firebolt from the chaos uh, legion set uh two damage three health pretty standard scatter shot is one of those abilities for me that is hit and miss because quite frankly it hits or it misses, doesn't it? Um, you know, you, you want it to hit a specific target generally. Um, and when it hits someone you don't want to hit, it's a pain in the butt. And when it goes as exactly as you want it to, it's fantastic. So it's one of those 50-50 one of those abilities. Um, I love Chaos Dragon, also has Scattershot. Sometimes it's fantastic. It just targets that one character I want rid of. Um, and then other times it shoots somebody that's not going to kill. And you're like, oh, that card behind had two health. You could have killed it. So um, it will be a little bit... Um, a bit iffy. I think it'd be fantastic if you're fortunate enough to have Yodin. However, if you have Yodin, you probably aren't a silver uh, player anyway. I would love to have a Yodin. Um, I borrowed it from Bulldog. Shout out to my buddy Bulldog. I love that card so much. Um, bit out of my price range, unfortunately. But I can see Bloodmaker would be fantastic with Yodin. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get a power boost unless I max it out at uh, silver level, which is very doable it's, it's a common reward card which means it'll be cheap uh, it'll be in large supply and i have pretty much all of my common reward cards somewhere between here right now as i'm pre-prepping to max out my silver summoners uh, unfortunately they're a bit pricey so i uh, got to kind of do one at a time uh, but I like this card. It looks pretty good. Once we get up into the gold tiers, we get another ability. Let me just double check what that ability even is. Cripple. Um, if I remember right, let me just have a look. I think, yeah, it's the one that reduces the max health, which kind of negates or at least the, lowers the effect of, of, of like healing uh, effects on other cards. So it looks pretty good. I, I, I like that ability. I like Cripple and I like uh, the one that breaks shields. I forget what it's called. I like that on ranged cards. You can kind of protect near the back, not necessarily at the back because then they're vulnerable to sneak, but near the back. Um, so to really make life a little bit easier for your melee up front. So Bloodmaker looks like a fun card. A little expensive at five mana, but I think it brings a lot of utility. Uh, it's quite a quick card. You can see it gets up to four. It just 
level two. So it's got a nice quick card, good damage, good little bit of health there. Um, you do lose uh, one health as, as you max it out because you're gaining an additional damage, but I think that's a fair trade. I like Bloodmaker. I will definitely max Bloodmaker out. Uh, let's go and have a look at the next fire card. I loved the artwork for Countess Sinash. Um, looks like a fun card. It's a legendary. I mean, just noticed that. I thought this was going to be a rare. But uh, a legendary card. Ooh, tasty. Let's have a look at the abilities then. Uh, we got Opportunity. I love Opportunity. Fantastic ability. Uh, is that Leech? That's Leech, right? Yeah, that's Leech Life. The one that uh, steals health based on the amount of damage you're doing. And she's doing a lot of damage. Good lord. Three damage right off the bat at four speed. Good health on her too. I am going to be maxing this bad boy out in prep. I have a maxed out Harklaw right now. I'm going to max out Jin, whatever his name is. The grass one, the earth one. Um, so I can definitely say I'll max this out in prep. I like this. I suspect she'll be an expensive card initially when everybody is like wanting to play with a new toy. Because, good lord, this looks like a good card. Um, how, how does she get? She goes up. Oh, she gains a uh, camouflage. I know that one because I, I play... That card I just mentioned, that Earth card, Jin Blackler, I don't know how to say his name. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really good card. It means it won't be vulnerable to sneak, so you can literally stick it on the back wall. Um, lovely. I, I really, really like this. She doesn't gain anything else there. She just gets that ability. But I think that ability is probably better than gaining an additional one bump on any of these stats. Because that means you can literally stick her on the back wall. And they're not going to get to her. That's great. Um... What happens here then? She gets an additional damage at level 3. And then she gets another ability, boosting speed. I, I know that ability. I don't get to use it much. It's kind of a, a higher uh, league ability. Don't see it uh, on an awful lot of cards in, in the lower leagues. Uh, but yeah, it's going to boost speed on all of your allies. So... I mean, that'll burn you a little bit if you're playing uh, reverse speed, which is usually where I play fire. But, you know, um, that'll be fine. I'll just drop a reverse speed battles, won't I? But, yeah, that looks like a really, really good card. That's more than good. I, that's a fantastic card. Let me know what you think so far of, of these cards in the comments. But, yeah, that is a winner. Um, you can see I've, I've, I've spotted this and reacted to this already, and I, I didn't even know it was legendary. But I will be all over that card. Let's have a look then. Water, a splinter I'm a big, big fan of once you get into gold. Um, right, so this is the common card here. One on a range. I don't really like one damaged range cards. Um... You know, they're, they're, they're vulnerable if they end up at the front because they can't attack you. And then tank cards that are often at the front, Living Lava, Antoy Platoon, uh, Mycelic Infantry, that there are many of us, Harklaw, um, totally j j just, just render it to zero damage as well. So I think they're just far too vulnerable in that state. Um, slow card, good little bit of health. And what is, is that? That's, yeah, that is Leech Life again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, okay, so it, it'll, it'll stack some health while attacking from the back as long as it's not got a tank card that's stuck in front of it. That said, there is an awful lot of firepower in water. Demon Shark, Deep Lurker, uh, I forget the name of it. Something Squid, you know who I'm talking about. Great card. Um, seaweed's also a fun uh, little damage dealer. Pelical Bandit's great once you've leveled him up as well. Uh, so that there's enough damage to get rid of that annoying tank to allow this Murd Hampir. Is that right? Murd Hampir? I'm probably butchering that. The devs are sat there like this right now. Like, oh, what is he doing? But... Uh, I, I, I can see a lot of utility for this card once again. That's Cripple. Um, and I love this ability. I've got this on a couple of other cards that I've picked up for my life deck. It allows you to hit cards that are flying. I, I think it prevents them evading at all, doesn't it, Snare? Uh, yeah, it can't miss when attacking flying cards. So uh, that will really step it up. So it looks like at Bronze, it's a bit of a meh card. Um, even at Silver, it's not fantastic. But it should come into play a little bit as long as you've got some meat and potatoes up front. Um, I wouldn't play this in low mana in case you were up against the tank, though. Uh, I'm thinking, say, fire versus water low mana battle. This is going to do nothing. It's not going to hurt Antwoid Platoon. You're not going to... You're just sacrificing four mana. But in, in a bit more of a, uh, say, a 30 plus... 40 mana battle then then there'd be some play for this it looks like it it'll become a lot more fun in the later leagues uh, I, I feel this is more of a gold card once the damage steps up um, and it'll actually be able to get involved in a battle regardless of what you're facing 
Um, I can't really speak on on like the end leagues where this will come in because I've never played in them. So I, that's, that's where Bulldog and other creators like that will come in. I'm really that early game creator for you guys. So it uh, looks like a fun card. Probably, I would say the weakest of the three so far, though. Right, Tide Biter is up next. What have we got? Reach, love that ability. Good fun ability, uh, especially in, in some of the annoying battles where like sneak and opportunity and other things kind of get like banned out. Snipe, I think it's sneak and snipe, don't it? You get banned out with one of them. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like I like Reach. Let's have a look at the damage. We're looking at one damage. So at Novice, it's it's hot trash. It's a it is an epic card. Ooh, nice. Do like me some epics. Um, I, I don't like it in novice. It looks fun at bronze. You, you get an additional bit of damage to it, so that that that'll really where it'll come into its own, I think. Um, do you got the four? Do you got the four or three in silver? I can't remember. Actually, have just totally forgotten. I'll have to quickly check that. Let me just pop on the splinter uh, splinterlands real quick. Um, I, I know where rares go, and I know where uh, commons go once you get into silver. I don't have many leveled up um, epics, and that's showing right there. So four, something like, yeah, up to level three. Okay, so we're gaining this new ability, uh, Reflect Shield, I believe it's called. I just had to look this up because I didn't know what this was. It's one of the news tidbits I missed. Reflection Shield, there you go. Uh, prevents you taking kind of splash damage and indirect damage um, and reflected damage, so things like... Uh, blast aren't going to hit you um, and if you're attacking the damage bounces back like thorns um, and, um, and all those kind of like magic reflect are not going to affect you so um, it's cool to see that ability come in I think that would be really really helpful especially in thorns battles because uh, obviously it's a melee card so I do like the look of it you got you got that true thingy is it true target? I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it means you can't miss. Um, and it's a really, really fun ability when all melee cards get like sneak or, or opportunity and you can stick it anywhere. I, I love it on this Sherlock Minotaur fire uh, reward card. Great fun. Um, so yeah, I, I can see this card being a card I would definitely play. I, I, I would definitely give this a go. Um, when leveled up, I don't know if I'd play this at uh, bronze but i'd probably play this at silver where i can take benefit of this ability which is something squid wouldn't be able to take benefit of so yeah type by it looks okay um so far i think both of the fire cards are better though in order of best cards probably Countess, Bloodmaker, Tidebiter, and then that bird thing. Let's go and check out the Earth cards. I'll try not to call them grass. I'm too much of a Pokemon player. Uh, so Vampire Bat. Love the artwork. Let's have a look. Um, typical low end uh, melee card does absolutely zero damage as a common. So we can play up to four at silver where it comes into its own a little bit with a bit more damage, but much in the, the way of... Was it Bloodmaker that went up then? No, it was the other card that went up then. So... Um, and when we lose a uh, health at that stage, we've got flying. Flying's one of those abilities I do like. Um, gets that dodge up, but I see it also once you get to gold, it actually has uh, the dodge ability too. So that's going to be really annoying to hit. But at the same time, dodge abilities and flying and stuff, uh, RNG really comes into play there. Sometimes your your one speed card doesn't miss a single hit against a five speed card with flying and dodge. Um, and then the next time your five speed card can't hit them to save its life and you lose. So um, it's a bit of an RNG ability, hard to control and 100% rely on. Um, I can see this card being fun once it's maxed out at silver in a rule set where melee cards can attack from anywhere. I can definitely see that being a good bit of fun as long as they don't play Mylar, of course. So uh, an okay card, a card I will definitely level up. Um, not my favorite yet. So have a look, Vampiric Blossom. I remember seeing this uh, this eye candy being uh, teased to us, and I love this card. That's Oppress, isn't it? Let me have a look. Yeah, double damage to enemies that have no attacks. Um, I love this card. Two damage right off the bat. It's a rare card, which means I can get the level up a fair bit in silver. Um, good bit of health, so I haven't got to worry about uh, you know a ranged card just being wiped off the map within within like two seconds. Um, all the way up to silver, it's still only two damage, but it gets a little bit more health there, a bit more speed, and also gets this ability, which I need to quickly find because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, I'm skimming through. It's death blow, uh, two damage if it's the last enemy on team right. So uh, that's oh, it's the only monster yeah left on the enemy team. Yeah, that that looks like a really really fun card. 
Um, this is probably probably my second favorite right now, actually. A card that I would definitely get some good use out of because it's a rare and I can level it up a little bit more, whereas I don't really have the ability to level up a lot of my legendaries at the moment. I'm a little bit behind on summoners. Summoners are where it's expensive. It looks like in the top leagues, though, you get a really good bit of damage here. Nice speed, a lot of health, and you're also getting immunity, which is one of my personal favorite abilities, so that's great. Um, I really, really like this card. Looking at it, you would have thought it would probably have poison or something, but I think it would be too OP if you had all these abilities and poison. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a really dangerous card, actually. Uh, it would be very, very helpful taking those kind of support cards out. Let's go to, where are we at? Life now. Life is a, a splinter I'm actually working on a lot at the moment. So, i got to say, I love this artwork immediately. I'm a big fan of wolves. Um we got one damage good bit of speed on it it's a very very soft card but it does have uh, someone that steals health isn't it I, th I think you know i think you get health when something dies yeah scavenger that's it i just found out splitting the cards yeah so scavenger when a card is killed this one this card will gain health uh so you probably want to position it i don't know I say I would probably pull this out in a rule set where again melee cards can attack from anywhere and I'd probably plonk it somewhere probably in like position four or five um, so it's not too vulnerable to sneak cards but it's not right at the front where it's going to get killed before it's got any health so uh, yeah it looks like once again we get into silver it's got a little bit more about it it's going to gain extra damage and extra health so I, I think it'll start to come into its own here it's a rare card I've got to say for a rare card it's a little bit soft um, but at the same time, it's only two mana. I think that's the that's the selling point here. I think when you're looking at two mana, uh, the abilities, the the stats you're getting, you're also getting dodge once you go up into gold, um, and then rage as well at the end. So this card could really be quite special. Um, I like it. I do like this card. I think for for the mana, and I'm a big fan of low mana battles. It's probably where I specialize a little bit. Um, I, I would definitely play this card. I play a lot of life in low mana, so uh, that, that would definitely come into use. I, I just realized I kind of overlooked the, the mana counts on these. Tide Bite was a three, uh, the Bat was a three, and uh, Vampire Blossom was a five. Okay, that's fine. Um, what we got? Jared, 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 is it? Yeah, Jad's double R. Jared uh, Scar, right. Um, he looks pretty cool. He looks like a real pissed off Bowser. Five, oh my lord, five damage? Okay, five damage, two speed. Um, he's a little on the soft side, but he makes up for that for just being an absolute weapon. Um, seven mana, so he's expensive, but he's a legendary. Uh, so he looks like the life version of Grum, right? Uh, so we can't miss. That's uh, Bloodlust, I think. Yeah, so you'll, you'll gain when you get kills. Every time it, uh, it defeats an enemy, it gains plus one on all its stats, that's right. Um, and is that piercing as well? Oh my lord, it is piercing. Grum is absolutely fantastic when you play him with Quid because of the piercing ability that you get from that summoner. So this is like Grum and Quid had a baby and it looked like Bowser with big teeth. So, um, wow, this card looked great. This might be the best card so far. I really, really like this card. As I said, it's a little soft. But you could pair this with, um, I forget the life summoner that adds extra health. Forget her name. Uh, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's one of the starter cards right now. So you, you could thicken them up a little bit with, with that. Um, and then there's plenty of other... Jin uh, Renova also gives, I believe, gives another health as well. So you could pair him with that one as well. This would be a really nasty card, especially if it could attack away from the front. Like in, in a middle position somewhere. Good lord. I love that card. Um, right, Ever Hungry Skull is actually a common. I remember them this in the original Eye Candy. So this is a common card. This is a an error. So, so for a common with two damage right off the bat, that's that's absolutely great. It's got a huge amount of shield, uh, but it's incredibly vulnerable to magic. So yes, you don't want to play in this up against magic. Um, Obviously, it's a death card, so you could play it with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Thaddeus, who reduces magic, but still, um, you're going to get slapped by any magic card that hits you. So, 
Uh, yeah, you, you're, you're really going to want to be playing this <laughs> against something like Life or Fire, I think, um, where you can where you can take advantage of this shield. Um, and I wouldn't want to put it on the front as well. But I love that it also has thorns. Um, I don't know what that ability is off the top of my head. Where is it? Let me go find it real quick. Not double strike. It's the one that looks like it. There it is. It's return fire. Okay. So it's got like a counter attack as well. Uh, when hit with ranged monsters will uh, with return fire will reduce a uh, return reduce damage back at their attacker. Mm. There's an anti melee, anti ranged card that will be absolutely obliterated by even the weakest of magic cards. So it's a very situational card, but for a common, I think that's great. And three damage as well, um, up, at, up at silver. Good card, good card, I like this. Um, I would only roll out in certain situations, but there's many cards that I play like that. Uh, Forgotten One is one in particular. So I only play it when I can attack from anywhere or it's poison. Right, let's have a look at the next card. I can already see this is an epic reveler with just four mana. Nice. I, I love those uh, Little League, I think the rule set's called, Little League cards. So I, I find they tend to appreciate value better as well because they can be played in, in any rule set as, as a result. Um, only one only one on magic, but it does go up to two if you're playing in silver. Uh, it'll lose a health when it gets there. I don't know what that ability is. Let me have a look. Let me find it. Um, some reason I can't see it on the spot right now trying to find it pressure why can't I see it anywhere that's really annoying I actually can't find it has it got a different it looks like it's not blind is it Um, oh, I don't want to hold up the video. I can't find this ability on... Uh, Blind's got a totally different symbol to that on Splinter cards. But the closed off eyes would make me assume it's possibly that. But as I said, it's... Um, I mean, if, if it's blind, then it increases the chance of, peop of ranged and melee missing their targets. If it's that, it could be quite good. But unfortunately, I can't 100% confirm that. I don't know what this... Oh, no, I just spotted it. It's stun. Just spotted it. It's so much smaller on there. Okay, so it's stun. When a monster hit, uh, with stun hits target, it's a chance it will cause them to skip the next turn. That's good. Okay, that's a really, really good card. Um, I, I like that ability. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm giving, my, I'm giving you my live thoughts. I've not seen all these cards. Uh, we've got immunity as well, and we've also got that reflect. Uh, reflection shield. This is good. This is, this is definitely a good card. It's a shame I won't get immunity until I go to gold, which is the one downside. Um, but it's a card I would definitely bring into play in Little League. So yeah, Rev, uh, Revealer's, uh, Revealer looks good. It's a, very much a support card in the sense of its abilities, I feel. You know, you're looking to stun, you're looking to stay alive and bounce things back more than you are to attack quickly or, or, or do anything like that. Uh, what we got? Um, one more here. So... <laughs> Dampire? I don't know. Uh, Infiltrator. A uh, sneak and double attack card. What a disgusting combination of abilities. And has that level one? I love it. I love sneak. I love sneak and I love double attack. Um, so four mana, rare card. I'm going to be maxing this bad boy out for silver very quickly. I can see that already. Uh, good bit of speed. Nice bit of balanced uh, health when you combine it with his other stats and abilities for just the little league level mana. Uh, very, very fun card. Um, and the fact it's got sneak and double strike, uh, double attack, whatever you call it, at uh, at novice as well. That's this is definitely going to be a card that's getting played a lot by new players. Um, you'll you'll probably see this everywhere in. Um in, uh, in in bronze as well. It is a dragon card. I just noticed that. I thought it was a death for a moment. I've just noticed it's a dragon. Um, so that's absolutely fine. I'm a big dragon player. I don't own quicks. I actually play either Bright and Bloom or Delwyn personally. Um, but yeah, this this is this card is something else, man. And it also gets cripple. Is cripple right? Yeah, it is cripple. So it also gets cripple. And it's double attacking you for that matter. And poison. Wow. Yes, it's soft, but it's got low mana um, and it's got crazy abilities. This is a very, very good card. 
Um, bearing in mind you have a dragon deck. A lot of new players don't have a dragon deck. I very quickly saw the value to dragons um, and how powerful they are. So I went all in on dragons as soon as I could. One of the first decks I really started to put together was a dragon deck. Um, right, what we got? This is, a, this is our neutral card. He's a legendary. Oh, very nice. Venator Kinjo. Um, so... Only one damage regardless, so he's not really actually an attacker, though he's got low mana, so that's really, really nice as well. Only one health, very, very squishy card. It looks like he's an ability-based card then. Uh, he can reflect things again. Uh, you know, indirect damage is getting reflected, and he can't be targeted, so that's, that's, that's quite cool. That said, he's only really going to be a lot of use in a rule set where you can attack from anywhere, because he gets to the front wall and you're dead, because your camouflage is no longer valid. Um, but yeah, he definitely looks more like a, a support card anyway, because look at all these abilities. Once we get up to level two, we've got immunity, so poison's not affecting him or anything like that now. Uh, level three, he can slow all the enemy cards down. And at level four, I don't even know what this is. What on earth is this? Amplify. Increase the magic reflect return fire and thorns damage to all monsters by one. Okay, yeah, very, very much a support card. Reminds me a little bit of Dr. Blight in that way, um, where his utility is based on the abilities that he's bringing to battle for your overall team rather than as a standalone card. So uh, very, very nice card. And the fact that it's neutral and I can play it with anything, I can definitely see that the Venator Kinjo will get brought into some battles for me. That is definitely going to happen, especially as you go up the leagues and his value through his utility increases. So yeah, very, very good. That's all the that's all the new reward cards that are coming shortly. And my God, are they good? I thought it was 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Oh, there was 12. I, I, I didn't realize I looked at 12. But yeah, that, that looks like a very, very good set of cards. I apologize this video is a little long, but I wanted to go, I wanted to give you my genuine thoughts on all these cards. I'll break it up into, into chapters for you guys so you can actually go to the specific cards you want and, and hear my thoughts on it, not have to watch the entire video. Um, and thank you for joining me on this one. Very excited for these cards to arrive. I'll be leveling up as many of them as. I say as quickly as I can, but I, I will I will let the FOMO uh, pass. I'll, I'll, I'll let the people with more money than me get all these cards first, and I'll start picking them up as the, the market settles, uh, corrects itself, and supply increases of how many of these are now out there in the wild on the market. Really wants the bots to got hold of them and start selling them. So, yeah, look, they look like good cards. Very, very excited. I can see a good three or four of these being cards that become in in regular rotation for me and some others will definitely pick up as i rise in those leagues and i finally get to gold thank you for watching guys be sure to check out my patreon as i said get into my discord server where it's slowly starting to grow with splinterlands players and stay tuned to the channel like subscribe do your thing guys i'll catch you all in the next video till then we out of here